Can you save this person's life? I've been stiff and slow for months now. The new pills, they just made my stomach twist. A 65-year-old woman presents to a clinic with a three-month history of progressive worsening rigidity, bradykinesia, and postural instability. Her neurologist prescribed her a new medication, but she reports no significant improvement in her symptoms. Upon questioning, she confirms that the medication was stopped due to severe gastrointestinal side effects. The medication was an agonist at the dopamine receptor, but does not cross the blood-brain barrier. The patient's lack of response to the medication is most likely due to which of the following? The correct answer is A, the presence of tight junctions between the capillary endothelial cells. So what you need to know is that the blood-brain barrier prevents many drugs from entering the CNS because of the tight junctions between the endothelial cells. Dopamine cannot cross the blood-brain barrier, and that's why L-DOPA, is a precursor that can cross, is going to be used in Parkinson's treatment. And so the lack of response is because of those tight junctions in the brain capillaries. That makes it so the dopamine agonists that don't cross the blood-brain barrier are gonna act peripherally and that causes the side effects without the therapeutic benefit. Now, B would be myasthenia gravis. That's an autoantibodies that target the neural synapses, but that's not relevant to Parkinson's. And it's not a downregulation of the postsynaptic dopamine receptors, that would be like tolerance. So basically this is Parkinson's that's due to dopaminergic neuron loss in the substantia nigra, pars compacta, that leads to the motor symptoms from the disrupted signaling in the basal ganglia, which does cross, and then is converted to dopamine in the brain. Here are the high yield notes about this patient's condition. And now we get to see a recreation of this patient. 